This is a meeting of Franklin Public Library Board of Trustees. It's Wednesday, August 28th, 2024. This meeting is being held by Zoom. Um, I will call the roll. Agnes? Yes. Anya is here. Yes. Mayor <coughs> Kramer? Yeah. Nicholas Champa, I am here. Kevin McNeil? I'm here. Uh, Tiana Grisham is not here at the moment. Amy Arsawala is not here. And our new member, Aisha Ali. Here. Uh, and of course, we have welcomed her. And this, is, this meeting is being held in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act Public Law 1975, also known as the Sunshine Law. The schedule and notification of this meeting have been provided to the Courier News, the Home News Tribune, and are also uh, uh, the, the Franklin Township Clerk, and uh, the notice has also been posted in the library's vestibule. I would like to open the public portion, the first public portion of the meeting. Um, if there is anyone here who would like to speak, um, uh, I will. Is there anyone here who would like to speak at this first portion of the public meeting? If not, I will dispense with reading the rules for the public. <laughs> portion. Seeing nobody, uh, I, I would declare the uh, part one of the public portion of the meeting closed. Uh, and I would ask for a motion uh, to approve the minutes from the uh, June meeting. Do we forget the pledge? The pledge. How did I r run right over that? I'm sorry. Yes, let's pledge allegiance to the flag. I think you can see it on the screen there. Yeah. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America. Yeah. to the republic, republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation. under God, indivisible, Would anyone like to uh, make a motion to approve the minutes from the January, from the June 26th meeting? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from the last meeting. Kevin, thank you. Uh, is there a second? I'll second the motion. Kevin and Agnes. Okay. Is there any discussion about the motion? So, is it now to bring about the tabling the issue of the table, or that would be on that old? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Agnes. Can you repeat that? I, I didn't. No, no. I was thinking of the tabling of the dates, vacation dates. If, if this is the time, or I'll wait, wait until. Oh well. Yes. As you recall, at that meeting, uh, there was a motion made to. Uh, increase the number of vacation days and the motion was tabled. Um, so this isn't exactly the right time, but it will come up again under uh, old business. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, January, can we go to your uh, reports? Wait, we haven't voted on the minutes. No, I'm sorry. We have not. We have not voted. We have not voted on the uh, motion. There is a motion made by Kevin to approve the minutes of the June meeting. Those in favor, signify by raising their hand. One, two, three, four. Uh, I see four positive votes, and that's unanimous approval of the June meeting minutes. And now we should go to uh, January's reports. 
Okay. Uh, start with the financial reports. Uh, this is the first one of this uh, new fiscal year. And uh, there's nothing really outstanding on it unless uh, anybody has questions or comments. I, I have a question about, uh, there's a uh, building maintenance account, not 9112. Uh, what comes under that? Is this outside contractors or combination? Oh, I'd have to, um, it's the cleaners. It's uh, anything that we have to do for the building, like the HVAC, that sort of thing. Okay, so cleaners, are they an outside? Yes. Okay, thank you. That's, yes. uh, that's what I was wondering. Thank you very much. Any other questions on the financial report? No. Okay, and the program report. All right. Um, as those of you who have been in have probably noticed, the roof is finally done. And hey. there have not been any complaints about it being hot out there. So I've got my fingers crossed that this that this has fixed that particular problem. The lighting is also much, much nicer. It's so much kinder, I think. Um, the adult services department had 37 adult programs that 409 people came to. The youth services department had 31 programs that 1,569 people came to. The summer teen virtual volunteering program ended on August 15th. The final session of the volunteer reading buddies program was on the 12th of August. And the summer reading uh, program has also ended. And I'll have statistics on that for you at the next board meeting. We have a new teen program. It's called the Teen Reading Challenge. That um, looks like it's gonna be very interesting. And uh, the attendance at programs at Franklin Park is really doing quite well. And even Lewis Street has shown a modest increase. And I think that's all the highlights that I have. Thank you very much. Moving on. Um, I had not expected to um, have a president's report uh, this time around, but I found something I would like to mention it's sitting here somewhere. In today's Star Ledger, there was an obituary for uh, Mr. Leonard Riggio. He's a man who took Barnes and Noble in 1970 and built, and over the next 30 or 40 years, built it into the big book selling uh, company we, kn we knew. Um, there was a lot of acrimony as he grew bigger and bigger from the uh, independent booksellers um, who were unfortunately going out of business because they could not compete with his large, um, large stores. Uh, there were even lawsuits between the uh, association, the, the American the book the American Booksellers Association, and Barnes and Noble. Moving forward, Amazon came along and. Uh, took over a very major mar market share, share of uh, book selling. So the obituary goes into a lot of uh, uh, history of book selling. And I thought that might be interested, interesting to us as people involved with books. So uh, we will get a copy of that uh, history uh, for the next packet that you get. Okay, correspondence and communication. Um, we have two articles that I put in everybody's packet uh, 
on the books, library legislation 2024, which was very interesting and depressing, and an editorial about AI, about AI's relationship to libraries. I enjoyed both of them. Um, and uh, AI is really something where the point of that is that uh, authors and writers information went into the all of the training of the AI apps. Thank you for that, January. I have um, yes. I have a letter. Unfortunately, I have a letter here from a letter of resignation from NBC uh, dated August 11th, 2024. Uh, please accept this letter as my formal resignation from the Library Board of Trustees. Mm -hmm. I am grateful for all of your support during my time here and appreciate all of the valuable experiences I have gained during all of these years as a member of the board. It has been a sincere pleasure with you and the team. Best wishes and thank you for everything. Sincerely, NBC. Um, okay. I have tried unsuccessfully to talk to NBC. Uh, he has not responded to a couple of phone calls. I think at this time it's important for us to uh, accept this resignation. The main reason being that he is our uh, vice president and treasurer. And um, I think if we accept this resignation, we can go move on and uh, elect a new vice president and treasurer. Um, is there a motion to accept this letter of resignation? A motion that we accept NBC's uh, resignation, the letter of resignation. Is there a second? I'm seconded. Okay, Kevin has made a motion. Uh, Agnes has seconded it. Is there any discussion? Mm. Did he give any reason or he just has something else to do? I have no reason. I have not been able to discuss any reasons with him. I have attempted to, but I haven't gotten a, a response. So to answer your question, he has not given me a reason. Mm. Well, sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't catch the name. What was the name? NBC. Is... His name is Nabil Kuwari. Um, we have always called him NBC. His middle name is Utros. It's a little bit difficult, so he has gone by NBC. Oh, okay, got it. Only with us here at the library, but in some of his other dealings. Um, but yes, his actual name is N-A-B-I-L, Nabil, Boutros, B-O-U-T-R-O-S, Kouiri, C-H-O-U-E-I-R-I. -I. Um, okay. Thank you. Okay. Is there any uh, further discussion on the motion? Do we, do we ask board members giving write a letter of thank you or what do we do appreciation for his service and when I'm, we're talking about giving agnes i mean agnes a iris a plaque i think he'd be equally deserving yeah i would uh, as far as the letter goes kevin mr secretary yes uh um I could uh, have something to write something up and you know forward, nice. it, uh, forward it to you guys for uh, approval. We don't have to well, I would think that uh, secretary, uh, your approval is good enough, and uh, maybe you can get some letterhead from uh, January and. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Yes. NBC has served a very long time, longer than I have, and I recall that uh, 
when I joined, he mentored me, and uh, I appreciated that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, where are we here? Old business. Don't you have to vote? Didn't you vote? Yeah, yeah. Let's vote on this one. <laughs> Those in favor of the uh, acceptance of the resignation, please signify by raising your hand. Okay, it is unanimous for positive votes here. Thank you for. So as is my custom when there's an opening like this, I move the person who's the my representative to the full position. Aisha, you probably will set the record in Franklin for having <laughs> the uh, representative position the shortest time ever. Uh, <laughs> I will, um, I don't need to vote or anything on it. I will name her as to fulfill um, NBC's remaining term. January, do you know when his term expires? December 31st, 2024. Okay, so the same length of term you would have had. Um, so you are now a full member and I have to find another representative for myself. Mm -hmm. And now I can vote at this meeting. You certainly did set a record for the shortest term. <laughs> okay. uh, thank you. I'll promote them for this easy. <laughs> thank you, Mayor. Okay. Um, now, uh, going on to old, old business. Um, as you recall, we have... Uh, tabled uh, a proposal made at the June meeting to increase the uh, vacation time uh, by two days. Um, the vacation time for people who've been here uh, 20 years or more. Um, January, who made that chart? Nick. I did. Good job. Uh, that, I mean, that chart is extremely useful and informative. Thank you. But you know how, how many words it takes to say the same thing? <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's perfect. Thank you. And uh, thank you, January, for cranking up your color copier and, so that everybody could get a copy. Um, the... Um, uh -oh. The motion that, uh, let's see. I'm entertaining a motion to, uh, first of all, is there a motion to take this issue off the table? I think Robert's rules provide for that. Uh, I, I, still, I still move. I would take it off the table. Is there a second? I'll second it. Okay. Uh, those in favor of taking the issue of vacation policy off the table signify by raising your hand. It passes, and this time it passes unanimously with five positive votes. <laughs> uh, now you're ready. Now, um, Would anyone like to make a motion to uh, accept the uh, the uh, the new policy to provide 26 days for those full-time staff members who have been employed by the library for 20 years or more? Um, and right now they're getting 25 days. Uh, 22. No, 22. 22. Oh, okay. So it's four-day increase for those who have uh, been here, been employed for 20 years or more. I so move that we increase the people who have served for 20 years or more, 26 days vacation leave. Thank you. Is there a second? I second that. Okay. Now, Agnes, may I read um, something? that uh, 
just adds a little more to it. This was okay. Please. Okay. Moved to increase the number of vacation days to 26 days for those full-time staff members who have been employed by the library for 20 years or more. Effective September 1st, 2024. Sure. Agnes, would you accept that wording? I, I do accept that wording. Yeah, because that's online with with government anyway. That's like yes. uh, one one day per pay period. Well, also oh, if well we, by if you get paid bi weekly. I don't know how they get paid. Is well, uh, twenty six pay periods? It's no, just bi weekly. It's bi weekly, right? So yeah. it's like one yeah. one day a pay period. Well, okay, um, which seems pretty fair for twenty years of service. Uh, any comment I would make is that uh, it seems that the La Somerset County Library System is more generous than most. They give the 26 days right, right from the get-go. Um, so that's why they charge so much more for their <laughs> library than we do. Okay. Uh, is there any other discussion? Those in favor of the motion, please signify by raising the hand. Okay, thank you. Um, I see five yes votes. This, uh, this motion has passed unanimously. Okay. And you've made the staff very happy. <laughs> How many people uh, uh, does this Four. Four? Four. And what's uh, interesting is, is one from each department. Okay. So that's very equal. Considering how hard people work, sometimes it's good to give them some benefits. Yeah, it's good for morale. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is there any new business? There's no other old business, I'm sorry. Um, I just have one quick thing on the old business to let you know that um, Iris's plaque has been made and produced. I want Amy's not here, but uh, Amy was able to find me a, a great place. I got some great um, artwork done on it, and uh, we just we're just waiting to give it to Iris. So just wanted to let you know that was done. Great. I, I'm I if I can make an appointment with Iris, I will deliver it to her tomorrow. Good. Yeah. I'd like to make a motion that we give a similar plaque to NBC. Second. Is there a second? Second, Agnes already did. Agnes seconded. Okay. Under new business, we have a motion, um, and it's been seconded to give a, a similar plaque to NBC, who has served many years. And uh, is there any discussion on this motion? Yeah. No. No. I mean, I agree. Okay. And January, I assume you know who made it, and uh, we can get another one from yep. the same. Okay. Thank you. Uh, those in favor of a uh, plaque for NBC, please signify. Looks like again five to nothing. We okay. certainly don't have a lot of arguments in this <laughs> organization, do we? <laughs> so far, okay. Um, going on to um, with continuing with new business, I would like to uh, propose that we um, elect Agnes Kulabanya as. Uh, Vice President and Treasurer to fill the spot that NBC has left. This will be for the remainder of his term, which will be to the end of the year. And uh, I have talked this over with Agnes, and Agnes kindly said she would accept it. I second. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, I will ask for a vote. Um, those in favor, signify by raising their hand. 
Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. Five votes, five positive votes. Congratulations, Agnes. All right. You are now the uh, vice president and uh, treasurer. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay. I hope I'll be able to fill your, your shoes. <laughs> mm. I'm sure you're going to do a great job. <laughs> okay. Um, is there any other new business? There is no reason that I can see for an executive session. So we will go to uh, the, the second part of the public portion of the meeting. Is there any member of the public out there who would like to speak at this time? Seeing none, I will close this second portion and announce that our next meeting will be September 25th, 2024. Um, again, by Zoom. At five. I wonder if we should we, we get new members now. Should we have one in person? Just a thought, not. Yes, it's a very good thought. Um, there'll be there'll be a. I'll have picked someone to replace Aisha's position by then, so might be a good idea to we go face to face. It would be. It would be. Um, January? Yes. Um, do we still have all the equipment we need? Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to get it out and uh, test it, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's just yeah. good to hear. Okay. Uh, one thing I, I would note that, uh, you probably should be making a little better use of the, uh, audio, the better audio. Uh, the way we are now, we're all speaking into our computers or our cell phones, and I think the audio is coming through pretty well. There have been complaints from the last, um, well, okay, we'll look into the, to the uh, equipment and, um, is there any discussion about this? Would anyone uh, like to make a comment as to whether we should go to, I think we should go back to the uh, uh, in-person meetings. And thank you, Mayor, for making that, for reminding us that this is- I don't, I don't vote, but I think it's a good idea. Okay. Next meeting will be September 25th, 2024, held in person at the uh, main library history room. And uh, January, I'm sure you'll have to um, make that known to the newspaper. Sure. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Okay. If possible, a welcome back party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this, but you're probably going to want food too, huh? Food and beverages? There's no food allowed in the library. That's what I understand. <laughs> yeah, just a joke. <laughs> Is there an, a motion to adjourn? So moved. Mayor Kramer, Agnes seconds. Second. Uh, any discussion of this motion? No. None. Those in favor, please aye. signify by saying aye. 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 Aye, aye. aye. and bye. Aye <laughs> and bye. Okay. <laughs> we are adjourned at 6.17 p.m. <laughs>